hello and welcome back to the master civil engineering and in this video we will learn that how to find the pile load capacity when the pile is passing through multiple soil layers i have been given a question which states that determine the allowable pile load capacity of a 40 centimeter dia driven concrete pile shown in the figure below the pile is first passing through a loose sand then a soft clay layer and finally through a dense sand and the water table is at a depth of 3 meter from the ground surface. First we will find the value of skin friction resistance in each clay layer. The first layer is a loose sand so friction angle between the pile and the uh, soil layer this is equal delta is equal to 3 by 4th of the angle of internal friction so it will be 3 by 4th into 30 which is 22.5 degrees for loose sand the value of lateral earth pressure coefficient this is equal to 1 diameter of pile is 400 mm which is 0 0.4 meter since in granular soil arching effect is always present which states that the effective value of the effective stress increases only up to a certain depth this depth is usually taken equal to 15 d to 20 d so we have to check whether the effective stress will increase linearly or it will increase up to a certain depth so l by d in this soil the length of the pile in this soil here is 3 meter diameter is 0 0.4 this is equal to 7.5 which is less than 15 okay it means that the effective stress will increase linearly with the depth so uh, value of effective stress at the top of the soil layer is 0 and at the bottom of this loose sand this is 16 into 3 which is 48 kilopascal so average effective stress in this layer will be 16 into 3 divided by 2 which is 24 kilopascal unit skin friction resistance okay also you can see that the value uh, the effective stress diagram for this pile okay at depth of zero meter or at the surface ground surface value of effective stress is zero at three meters the value of effective stress is 48 kilopascal at nine meter the value of effective stress is 97.14 kilopascal and at 14 meters the value of effective stress is 148.1 kilopascal unit skin friction resistance this is equal to average effective stress multiplied by k multiplied by tan delta so it will be 24 into 1 into 10 of 22.5 degree which is equal to 9.9 .9 kilopascal this is less than 100 kilopascal 100 kilopascal is the limit of the uh, maximum skin friction resistance in sands so it means that the unit skin friction resistance of pile in this soil layer will be 9.9 .9 kilopascal and skin friction resistance will be equal to unit skin friction resistance multiplied by the surface area of the pile in this layer. So it will be 9.9 .9 multiplied by pi multiplied by 0 0.4 multiplied by 3 meter since 3 meter is the length of the pile in this soil layer. So it will be 37 kilo newton. After that, the next layer is a soft clay, okay. Undrained cohesion in this soil layer is 15 kilopascal. So for C u is equal to 15 kilopascal, you have to find the value of addition factor from this chart, okay, which is a graph between addition factor and the undrained uh, strength. So value of addition factor from this chart is equal to 1. Skin friction resistance in clay layer is given as alpha multiplied by Cu multiplied by the surface area of the pile. So it will be 1 into 15 multiplied by pi multiplied by 0 0.4 multiplied by 6. 6 is the length of the pile in this clay layer. So it will be equal to 113 kilo newton. After that the next soil layer this is the dense sand. Okay. Again, in this layer, arching effect uh, will be present. Okay, we have to check the value of L by D. So, value of L by D, length of pile in this soil layer is 5 and diameter is 0 0.4. L by D is 12.5, which is less than 15. It means that the effective stress will again linearly increase in this soil layer. Okay, effective stress at the top of the sand stratum, this is 16 into 3 plus 18 minus 9.81 into 6 which is 97.14 kilopascal 
effect to stress at tip of the pile this is equal to 97.14 plus 20 minus 9.81 into 5 which is 148.1 kilopascal average effective stress this will be average of 97.14 plus 148.1 which is equal to 122.62 kilopascal this is the value of average effective stress in this dense sand layer uh, friction angle between the soil and the pile in this layer will be 3 by 4 of 40 degree which is 30 degree uh, value of lateral earth pressure coefficient in dense sand is 2 unit skin friction resistance this is average effective stress multiplied by k multiplied by tan delta so this will be equal to 122.62 multiplied by 2 multiplied by tan 30 which is equal to 141.6 kilopascal this is greater than 100 kilopascal which is the limit of the uh, unit skin friction resistance in sand so unit skin friction resistance in this layer will be taken as 100 kilopascal skin friction resistance will be 100 kilopascal multiplied by the surface area of the pile in this layer so it will be 100 multiplied by pi into 0 0.4 into 5 which is 628 kilonewton so total skin friction capacity of the pile in these three soil layers will be 37 plus 113 plus 628 which is 778 kilo newtons after that the point load capacity effective stress at the tip of the pile we just found out it to be 148.1 kilo pascal next you have to find the bearing uh, capacity factor uh, for the pile in this uh, dense sand layer so for this you will use this Berzant uh, bearing capacity factor chart okay so for phi is equal to 40 degree and the value of l by d is equal to 12.5 the value of nq from this chart comes out to be 160 degree you have to find it after interpolation next unit point bearing resistance this is simply given as effective stress multiplied by the bearing capacity factor so it will be 148.1 multiplied by 160 which is 23696 kilopascal this is greater than 11000 kilopascal which is the limit of the unit point resistance in sand so unit point resistance will be taken as 11000 kilopascal point load capacity this is simply unit point resistance multiplied by the cross sectional area of the pile so it will be 11000 multiplied by pi into 0 0.4 divided by 4 which is equal to 1382 kilo newton ultimate pile load capacity this will be equal to point load capacity plus friction load capacity so it will be 1382 plus 778 which is 2160 kilo newton allowable pile load capacity this will be equal to ultimate pile load capacity divided by factor of safety which is usually taken as 2.5 so it will be 2160 divided by 2.5 which is 864 kilonewton will be the allowable pile load capacity of this pile in this soil layer so this shows how to find the pile load capacity of a pile when it is passing through multiple soil layers i hope you guys definitely learned something new from this video and this video was helpful to you if you find my videos helpful please subscribe to my channel and share this video thanks for watching and stay tuned